Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel And another segment of Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business Why not? I can can and I can can and I will Now This lady Whom I got from a fellow YouTuber By the name of Tisa Tales Don't know if it's true so don't hold me to it Okay all of this is allegedly <coughs> But anyway this female right here, gorgeous, well-bodied, figured, Instagram model, I don't know. Very talented young lady. She goes by the name of Miss Cordon. It's her Instagram account, I believe. I'm going over what Tisa Tales was saying. This is the embodiment of a new woman. A possible new woman in Dennis McKenna's life. Now, for me, I think it's a smoke screen. Not to say Dennis can't pull a woman like this, okay? Because he's, I ain't gonna say his money long. He might got short money, but he still got money. But this lady, from what I'm understanding, used to live in Atlanta. And her name is Delicia Gordon, okay? She's done a lot of cognac type of promotional items for different companies. And she's traveled all around the world. Because I think that's London back there. As in Paris. Okay. Excuse me y'all. I'm kind of crunching on some stuff. I'm getting my appetite back. But as you can tell. She's a natural beauty. Don't look like she had a lot of work done. And that looks like Tammy Rivera. You know. Um, Waka Flocka's girlfriend. Wife. Whoever. So she's known in Atlanta. And if she's flown flaunting with them kind of people she's known in the industry so this young lady is supposed to be who Dennis McKinley is supposedly allegedly dating so I can see why Miss Portia Williams is in an uproar okay Dennis just didn't go out and get any woman he got a woman that's already established in the business and she probably knows a lot of more heavy hitters than Miss Portia Williams. Okay. Alright. So I can kind of see why she wants to do, do work on Dennis McKinley herself. Meaning putting them paws on him. Okay. Because she don't found out some stuff or the streets are talking. And she got her ear to the ground along with her other uh, supporters or enablers feeding her stuff. And Lundy. Might be one of the people that's trying to tell her. Honey, Dennis ain't staying you. He dating this person, this person, that person, that person. You see what I'm saying? She's probably on the side of Dennis and not Portia. Because Portia's not really in the creme de la creme with the real Jose Williams family. She's just by byproduct by of being born into it. That's all. Okay. And Portia really don't have nobody loyal to her. She has nothing but enablers around her. So, of course... Put that face against Miss Cordon face. Who you think? People gonna gravitate to first. I'm just saying. So that's probably why she got her tight her tidy white is all up in a bunch and crying and carrying on and lashing out at people, putting trying to put hands on folk, trying to put hands on Dennis, swinging on him on her last episode of her show, talking foul about the work that he did bring to the show but we never got a chance to see and talking foul about his mama and talking about he she don't care if nobody uh strap up or pop off on miss Gina. she don't care it ain't her mama and so i said oh sucky sucky now okay what better way to get portia back to get an even more better chick or how y'all like to say an even more better bitch to be seen with meaning Dennis has on his arm and he treating her everything like 24 karat plus okay I'm just saying we as women we petty and we damn so don't look like too much care for our ex gotten somebody better than us or you know in comparison to us but nah this chick better than Porsche I can't say she, she better than Porsche it might look like she might have had some work done on her boobs or whatnot. But, kind of Dennis had her on his Instagram account. She was pulling up a shot for him. 
Okay, catering. How to say catering to my man and my Beyonce voice? But child, that right there, I tell you, I can see why Portia may still don't excuse her of all her bad behavior and all of her missteps of trying to fight people. That's an anger management one-on-one problem that we already done sent her to school for. And I'm sure she got her certificate. And I'm sure it was mandatory put to her in order for her to stay on Bravo. But she's still over there. Not on, we're still on the Bravo channel. Even though it was formulated under her specific show. She's still trying to put hands on folk. And that disturbs me. That really does. Because it shows me you ain't learned anything. And you're not in tune with your emotions when they make you go for the worst. Or you're thinking the worst. You want to strike out. So that concerns me about her being a parent and her child being as small as she is. Because what a PJ get on your nerves real bad when you're under a circumstance that you can't handle. You need to strike out. Could it be plausible you might strike, strike out at her by accident? Okay, because you gotten too inflamed. You gotten too involved in the situation and the situation has escalated out of your control and the first thing you do is want to hit want to punch want to grab and abuse somebody yeah Dennis you need to be recording all of this here stuff but from what I'm understanding they're saying that Dennis want all the smoke so evidently he must be how they say pick him up and laying him down he must be picking up that pen, jotting everything, taking screenshots on all her family platforms, the ones that hadn't blocked them, and seeing what they're talking about. Because I'm sure he's going to have a lot to say about Portia's cousin, Stormy, and all the allegations for the negative she throwing his way. He's taking all that down, providing it to his attorneys. Then when Portia want to do something stupid, like... Try not to let him see his kid, even though, you know, he's paying for her every needs in consideration of any anticipating anything she may need. I'm sure he's footing a bill for that, but he's not being allowed to see his daughter. You know, I ain't going to say on a drop of a dime, on a drop of a hat, I think he is or should be. You know, giving her at least 24, 48 hours notice when he wants to come pick her up or do something with her. I mean, they should have a schedule at this point anyway. Because we never would have known anything about it. That they weren't faring well with one another until the week they got on this show. And Porsche called herself one of the blend families. But in essence, what she really wanted to do was drag on this storyline about how he cheated on her. And hurt her. And hurt her. And hurt her. And how he cheated on her. And she don't want nobody to forget that. I'm like baby. How many women have been cheated on. And they ain't forgot it. But they had to co-parent. How many of us are out there. I'm one. I had to co-parent. I didn't like what was done to me. In my relationship with my daughter's. Uh, at the time my uh, husband. Ex-husband now. My daughter's child. I had to be the bigger person. I had to swallow my pride so she could excel with the relationship with her dad. I mean, it wasn't like, you know, what you're trying to take Dennis through. I mean, either you've forgiven him and you moved on or you haven't forgiven him. You don't plan on forgiving him and you're going to keep on down this vicious negative cycle to when it's time for your daughter to understand the dynamics of a relationship she may even blame you do you really want that as the be all statement coming from your daughter to leave her dad alone and to leave her grandma alone and stop talking bad about them you know is, is that what you're gonna end up coming down to because you were a likable figure on Real Housewives of Atlanta god dog it they gave you your sh show you went all haywire. So. <laughs> I'm like. What is going on girl. Definitely need to stop swinging on folks. 
for you catch something bad that you wasn't expecting to come back and then you be looking all crazy like why they hit me why did they do me like this when you were the catalyst of the situation starting and manifesting I mean get it together Portia because your ex ain't playing with you no more you want to throw a man up in his face and, and say this is your new boo want to be kissing on him and showing him and trying to use you know your ex Dennis McKenna you don't think he gonna come through with the, with the come through too and then he come in battle he got somebody younger and bodies intact and very well traveled and versed with anything other than getting wealth or whatever the woman looked like she's very intelligent she can hold a quite astute conversation okay and can talk about many many things other than you just listening to gather some sense of what these people may be talking about when you don't even have a clue you probably trying to figure out where the party at where the drink set so I can see how you did get caught up in Simon's web of deceit and lies and debauchery. I can see. But, ooh, the tables have turned, Portia. The tables are turned. Let's see, can you play catch up? But that's all I have for this video, guys. Just giving y'all a little tea. Don't know if it's true or not. Don't hold me to it. But it seems like Dennis is wanting all the smoke. Like he's been saying on his Twitter account. Bring it to me. I got it. I got it. I want it. I want it. He tried to make a fool out of me. But guess who looking like the fool now? Guess who looking like the fool now? Okay? And it's a petty game that both um both of them are playing. Because a child is involved. And the situations can go much deeper. So hopefully... These two don't need to get back together because they're just not good for each other. You know what I'm saying? He's on one playing field, she's on the next. And they both trying to get what they need to get. And that's it. Not saying they can't grow up and mend their ways back to each other. But to me, I just think it's a mute point. But that's all I got for this video, guys. Like and love, we gotta have more. Continue to stay tuned. Continue to share my videos, like my videos, and definitely subscribe if you haven't done so already. Blessings, Sam. See you next video. Bye-bye.